It is currently 10 in the morning and as you can probably tell I am sitting in my car and I have my camera with you guys in my hands because today I am visiting a pretty cool event and I thought that this might be interesting for you as well so I thought I was going to bring you and I'm going to try the whole kind of vlogging talking to the camera thing even though it still feels super awkward to me so yeah I am going to visit my friend Elma aka East Block Boy in a minute and we are going to check out this place that you might or maybe not recognized in the background. So yeah, <laughs> let's go. And surprise, surprise, drum roll, where am I? I am in, ta-da! Wetzlar in front of the Lights Park or Leica store and today there's an analog event in here with workshops with talks and chats and just a lot of awesome cameras so let's get in What's up? Oh, Good morning Good morning Is this Thorsten? Problem ist, wir haben bei diesem. Da ist noch viel, viel mehr. Emma, what did you learn? How much is your Leica worth? Three and a half grand. Which one? This one? Three and a half grand. Why? Without the Sumicron. Uh, but you must say it's uh, three and a half grand with a certificate. So you send it to Leica and Leica um, um, completely. Three yeah. <laughs> or three and a half grand with a certificate? Yes, but you need to send it into Leica and they will check it completely and um, then they will uh, give to this camera a certificate and then three and a half grand. Mm -hmm. And this one? Uh, two and a half. One, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. Eine M6 Titan. Weiß jetzt gar nicht, wie viel wurden da produziert. Guck mal, ob das in unserem schlauen Büchle steht. Wenn ich es richtig recherchiert habe, gab es dafür ja keine eigene Seriennummer, sondern äh, ich habe irgendwas mit 60.000 gelesen, aber ich weiß nicht, ob es stimmt. Also, also wir haben hier 1994. Ja. Ähm, hier noch ein, ähm, der alte. Aufzug, mhm. also die neuen haben wir jetzt den MP-Aufzug. Mhm. Straußenleder kennt man. Ansonsten Titan. Ja, Titan ist auch sehr beliebt. Natürlich schon ein bisschen gebraucht. Also es ist, ähm, es ist noch in Ordnung. Aber ähm, die Kameras leben ja trotzdem weiter. Ah, das ist ein Film drin. Hab ich überhaupt nicht drüber nachgedacht. Alles gut. Ähm, ich ja, das ist vielleicht ein Daumenabdruck, wenn man das hier mhm. gehalten hat. Ich kann jetzt mal einmal mal ein Sumikron oder so draufsetzen. Guten Tag, hallo. Kann man jetzt mal die Kamera mal da lassen und durchchecken, das kann man jetzt machen. Was würde sowas denn kosten? Das ist heute kostenlos. Durchchecken lassen ist kostenlos. Ja. Wie lange dauert sowas denn? Ähm, sollte Viertelstunde fertig sein. Ich glaube, dann würde ich das tatsächlich ganz gerne mal machen. Nein, nein. Dann würde ich einmal den Film zurückspulen und die hier lassen. Ja. So, Leica is offering this kind of thing that you can bring your Leica camera and have a checkup today. So, it's currently there at the Leica doctor and getting a little checkup. I'm gonna pick it up now and hope everything is okay. She's back. 
and I'm happy. And um, there was a little bit of the adjusting. No, I don't know how it is in English, but the focus was a little bit off, but they fixed it. So my M6 is all clean and done and pretty and perfectly in focus. Red rum, murder. Das war ein guter Plop. Nee. Doch, es ploppt. Oh, hui, okay, der ist ein bisschen zu sehr geploppt. Aber passt eigentlich ganz gut ja, dazu. So <lacht> Solange da keine Blutflecken auf den Pulli kommen, damit es noch besser passt, dann ist es genau. gut. Ja, war das denn auch Menschen geplant, dass das Red Rum Rückwärts Murder heißt? Ja, ja, es ist schon dieser Shining Tribute. Äh So I am outside now and I have the Scala film loaded in. Now I have I think around an hour, an hour 20 minutes to take all my shots and then we are going to go in and develop and I'm so hyped, I'm so ready for some black and white slides. So let's see if we can find some good shots here. finally coming out. I'm so happy right now. shot I think 15 shots now so still 20 more to go and um, this area here the the lights kind of um, you know headquarters with uh, all the different buildings I think it's really interesting architecturally there's a lot of um, 
I don't know, really nice corners, a lot of uh, concrete and a lot of different things you can play around with. Unfortunately, the light today is not as good and I wished for a little bit more, I don't know, shadows and lights, but it's okay. We will gonna do the best out of it and I'm very excited to see how the black and white film will behave. East Block Boy in his natural habitat, talking to a camera and holding a Leica, of course. So I didn't know that beforehand, but in the Leica building, the architecture actually serves a specific purpose as well. Because the windows are kind of assembled like the perforation in a film. So, you know, the whole building shall remind us of film photography. And I think that is really cool and a very intelligent and clever use of architecture. I made it. I just managed to finish my roll of film, so let's go inside and develop. And what, what is different about the Scala developing compared to regular black and white? Because it has an additional step, right? Yeah. Oh, it has many additional steps. You're going to discover. <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot of additional steps and a lot of washing. And how precise does the temperature have to be for? It should be precise. 
Das ist praktisch hier. Okay, dann we're gonna mix for you as well. Ten seconds every minute. So I took the other. Eine halbe Umdrehung drin hat. Soll es eigentlich gehen? Also man kann ja It's for marginate. Everyone in Europe is kind of, not everyone, but a lot of people I talk to are afraid of it. In Russia, we drink it. <laughs> Very diluted, I have to say. I'm a perfectionist. It has to be spot on. Yeah. Oh, yes, it has to. <laughs> you cannot expose it to daylight. Your phone uh, light? Yes. Yes? Very good. So, pretty much at this distance, like this for about one and a half minutes, just okay. like this. Mm -hmm. Then you flip it and another one and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's yellow? It's yellow, it's yellow. Wow. This is pretty much like this. You don't have to move very fast. Just like, just, just so it evenly goes over. And you go all in with filming, thanks so much. <laughs> Well, if it starts looking way too dark, it means you exposed it enough. Okay. Oh, you know what I want? Yeah. It seriously feels like oh, oh, pure magic again. Like oh yeah, absolutely. It's like first time, huh? Okay. That's why I really like it. Yeah. And then you can tone it. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, you can sepia tone it. At home you can try sepia toning. Or selenium toning. Whatever you want. Okay, let's do this. Are the reels? But the emulsion is a bit more sensitive, you said, right? Yes, yes, try not to scratch it too much. <gasps> Oh my god, okay, I, I can't handle this. This is, this is too pretty, huh? And I didn't miss up, mess up all the exposures. This was like my biggest fear. Yeah? <gasps> wow, okay. So, yeah. drying? Yes. I, know, like, I always have like a hidden selfies as well with the mirror, like because there's a mirror in front of the Super. museum. Super. Oh, good, yo. Can you post it on Instagram so we repost or something? Because it's like really pretty. So that was everything for today. It was a super long day with a workshop, with filming another video, with meeting a lot of people, but it was so much fun and um, yeah, it was so worth it. I'm super tired now, um, but I have some more developing stuff I can uh, play around with at home and I'm kind of sad because the light, if you can see it right now, is so beautiful and I wish I could shoot another roll, but I'm too tired. I still have three hours to get home, so I'm gonna do that. Thanks for joining and see you in the next one.